Okay, this is the first in a series of videos, short videos, that I'm going to do in relation to setting up the preferences for the Engine Driver app. Um, first up, we're going to look at something really basic, which is just uh, setting up the name for the particular device, uh, and then we'll move on from there. So, the Engine Driver app, I'm just going to first start it up, uh, and I've got pretty much the default settings there at the moment and I've got two um, servers on the local network and, and I can also connect through to the test server at the um, steves jrmi.msteve.todd.com but uh, what I'll do is I'll connect to one of my home uh, servers here and I've just got to move that Y throttle window back for some unknown reason every time you connect or disconnect from, it, from Y throttle uh, it moves the window back to the default um, screen so so out of the box, um, my device has, was called, and so I just go and have a look at that. So if we go into the preferences and throttle name, my, defi my device was called Engine Driver, and then a four-digit or four-character random code. So in the Y throttle window in JRMI, it's popped up and it says, right, I, I, I know what that device is. I've seen it there. Just off screen, I'm going to connect another device to it which has also got the default configuration in there so it's pop, it will pop up around about now Oop, and I've got to move the window back and so that's a second device now uh, engine driver 69E1 so if I connect a few more devices to it uh, you'd start to see that I'm going to get a whole pile of engine drivers without actually telling me anything useful uh, and it can be useful to know exactly which device uh, is on screen as uh, so I is connected and, and is showing up there. Um, also, what happens when I connect to a box, um, select a locomotive, I can see what locomotive has been selected there. I'll grab another one. So they can you can see which locomotives who is controlling. But because that name is pretty much unintelligible, uh, it's a good idea to actually go and change the name of the device as a, one of the very first things that you do. So throttle name. Uh, and I tend to give it my name and then I, I add on to the end of it the device or some identifier for the device so this is a, a Galaxy S5 so I'm going to call, call it an S5 on the end so now I'm just going to exit out and come back in again and you notice it's disappeared off screen again but I'll just connect it Oops. do that first and then drag it back over again and you can see I've now got Peter Akers S5 showing up which is far more intelligent.